here in Club for what to wear wear.com. We're so excited to be in Philadelphia today at the Bellevue Hotel for Daisy Day with Kristen Munro, editor in chief of Philadelphia Style magazine. We're actually um, our late spring issue, which is out now. This is our 12th anniversary issue, so we've been a presence in Philadelphia um, for a long time. We're a luxury lifestyle publication. We're also associated with niche media. Um, so we have um, associated with 10 other markets um, across the country, focusing on all things um, luxury lifestyle, um, fashion, not only fashion, dining, arts and culture, um, all, all aspects of the good life. That's great. And each tailored to the individual cities. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. What other cities do you publish? In? Um, New York, we have Gotham Magazine, uh, Miami, we have Ocean Drive, Aspen, um, Los Angeles, Chicago, Boston, so we're well represented across the country. All the good spots. All the good Every spots. Every place you want to go. All the good shopping spots. Do you um, pick what you're going to put into the magazine? Um, we work with our um, fashion editors. We start scouting out several months in advance the looks. Um, you know, the looks that we love and we think will resonate here in Philadelphia for our audience. So in addition to, you know, just seeing what's happening um, in, in the fashion world as a whole, finding a way to make it accessible to Philadelphia. What is your inspiration for spring at Philadelphia Style Magazine? Um, well, for spring we covered, um, one of the big trends was new trends. So we have a huge fashion shoot for our spring fashion issue, which is one of our biggest of the year. And just did a lot of layering of soft neutrals, creams, whites, grays, which just sort of pair them all together for a really soft feminine look. Um, also incorporating in some of the other trends, um, lace, sheer fabrics, and eyelet that we've, we've seen a lot. Yes. What styles do you see in Philadelphia? How do you see that evolving? Um, styles in Philadelphia, I think we, we trend um, a little bit more casual, we're, we're comfortable being casual, we're, you know, we love our jeans, but um, I also think that we aren't afraid to, um, you know, get dressed up when the occasion calls for it, um, go with a little bit more glitz and color, um, and, and it, you know, incorporate some of the runway trends that we see into um, a real, you know, accessible style that sort of suits the mood here in Philadelphia. Fantastic. Is there one person who you think embodies Philadelphia style? Somebody who <laughs> come to mind? Um, Grace Kelly? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> she's a classic. Um, I, I think it's tough to pick one person today. I feel like there are um, designers um, that, are, that really sort of capture um, Philadelphia style. Nicole Miller, you know, obviously being one of them. She has boutiques here and, and is very popular here in the city. And um, also Tori Burks, who is a local girl. Really loved here. I think her you know, bright colors and, and, and full patterns and style um, is also very really popular. She is the next style trend. Do you think something out there on the horizon that uh, we should watch for? Um, well, I think just for this season, I'm really loving color blocking. Um, I think when it's done well, it looks amazing. So that's a trend that, that I really like for spring going into summer. Um, and I think it's just really captures the spirit of the season. Really lively too. Yeah, it? really, it's, it's nice to see know, some color. After the winter's over, everybody's tired of black. And Absolutely. And a little color like you're doing on your beautiful <laughs> polka dot shirt. Well, thank you so much for being with us. We really enjoyed meeting you and um, learning about Philadelphia Style Magazine and shooting this beautiful shop by Nicole.